this new discovery is the smoking gun that scientists have been looking for to solve the nanotyrannus debate. I'm Abby Crane and I'm a postgraduate PhD researcher in paleontology at the University of Southampton. So back in 2006, this absolutely remarkable fossil was discovered, which depicts a small bodied tyrannosaur and a triceratops appearing to be interlocked perhaps in battle as they were buried. When it was found in 2006, it was in private ownership. And so no scientists were able to look at it until it was bought by the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences in 2020. And what they've discovered is that the tyrannosaur, as part of the dueling dinosaur specimen, is actually an adult nanotyrannus. It's separate from the T-Rex. I think this discovery is actually one of the most important finds in dinosaur paleontology in the last at least 20 years because this debate has been such a fierce one between proponents of the Nanotyrannus is real side and the Nanotyrannus is just a juvenile T-Rex side. The consensus view until literally last week was very much leaning on the side of they're all just juvenile T-Rex. You can tell that this specimen is an adult. And the way the paleontologists do this is by cutting open some of the limb bones and looking for rings. So dinosaurs grew slowly over multiple years and in cycles. So they'd grow faster at some times of year and slower at other times of year, which produces marks in their bones, a bit like rings in a tree. By counting those rings, you can estimate roughly how old the dinosaur was. And so we know that this specimen was at least 14 years old when it died. Now that we know that Nanotyrannus is real, this really affects what we think about how the T-Rex grew and what its ecosystem was like. 